Yo, what's up? I just want to show you guys cool little software, some cool stuff you can do with uh, some songs that you have. Maybe you really like a few songs and change them around or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to mute my mic and play this song so you guys can hear it, and then I'm going to show you some settings you can do to mess with it. This song's freaking awesome. Cell Dweller's a man. But I want to show you guys some neat little tricks you can do with this program. Just using this song as an example. So you heard me play the first part of the song. You can listen to it again and again to get familiar with it. Okay, so now I'm going to take the beginning part and loop it. So I'm using these uh, magnifying glass, I'm zooming in, and from my understanding, the part I want to cut out, I guess you can say, is right here. So I'm just going to zoom in, double check that what this sounds like is where I want it to be. Okay, cool. We'll just double check again. Yeah, I think this is right. Okay, so I'm going to grab that, leave the cursor there, that's extremely important. I'm going to zoom out, and then go to the beginning of the song, because this is where I thought I wanted to loop it. So this sort of thing is not simple, and my neighbors are being really fucking obnoxious right now, so they're probably just playing some random annoying music so we're gonna show them what real music's like right here some real custom homemade stuff literally okay getting a good idea where the beginning is you have to this is absolutely the most important part if you ever want to loop something uh, this is what you have to do so you pretty much want to zoom in as much as possible it takes a while to scroll around I don't know all the hotkeys, but I'm going to show you guys a few. Alright. My god, this music they're playing is atrocious. I gotta do this ASAP. So I'm copying the selection. I held shift and clicked here. So where I left the cursor and where I'm going here, I'm able to adjust. Okay. Copy again. I'm going to place the cursor where I had it. It's going to move it around. Just make sure you place it in the exact same spot. I'm just going to do it a few times. And hopefully this sounds all right. So now we're going to listen to the same little segment. I'm going to mute my mic and we're going to listen. I don't like it. it kind of sounds messed up so let me go back see what I pretty much did is just copy exactly what I had there so the part I copied I think was a little short I should probably have included this part right here so let's do it again why not this is an experiment gonna try and get it right so the reason why I didn't like the one before is because it sounded like it ended abruptly so let's see where this one starts it's also good to check before so this is the part which we're gonna keep in the clip 
sounds all right. And then this would be the part I'm gonna take out. Let me just listen to this whole part again, make sure I'm doing it right. Actually, it sounds like I need to grab this part. I was doing it in the wrong area. Yeah, that sounds like what I'm going to start it with. So, I'm going to go in here. Uh, what I'd like to do at this part, I'm pretty much just looking for something around this middle line. Because in Audacity, this middle line is the neutral zone. It's muted. So... Let's get back over to the beginning of the song. I'm going to put a marker down so I know where to zoom into. Like I said, there may be some hotkeys that I can use to help myself do this, but as of right now, I'm just going to do it manual, since this is probably the, the most typical way of doing it. I'm going to leave out that spot here, actually, since I discovered at the end of the track uh, I started it a little too early. You know, this is all by ear. This is, you know, music I like, and I'm just trying to make something else sound good for experimental demonstrative purposes. Alright, so the up part up here looks kind of messed up, so we're just going to do it right here, and we're going to just keep copying and pasting. And click like that too to make sure and let's zoom out mute the mic and listen to it again This sounds a hell of a lot better, almost exactly what I wanted. So listen right here where it transitions. It should be very smooth. It's not perfect, obviously. It's cutting the percussion off immediately. It sounds like it's building up. But you know, I'm just, this is homebrew. This is homemade. If you want background music or something like I normally do, it's perfect. So now, let me, uh, I don't even know if you can hear me right there, it's probably kind of loud, but anyway, let's copy this and create a new file so we can have it playing in the background. We'll keep it kind of low. show you guys a couple more things you can do. So, I think we want the song to end around here, something like that. Could be listening to it to figure it out. But anyway, let's just experiment. So you go into this tool right here, they call it Envelop. First of all, to explain Audacity, Everything here is a volume meter. The edges explain pretty much the maximum volume roughly the speakers can handle. At the same time, you want most of the song to be at the maximum because you want to hear your song, right? So, I mean, in general, any song. So when you select the first marker for envelop, you need it right there, nothing second one I'm putting down so I can warp I can warp this section down without affecting the section before. So what I'm doing here is fading out the song. I'm not sure how this is gonna sound. But this seems uh, like something I want. I'm not exactly sure. So let's pause or we 
you know, we could just stop that and then listen to this one. Cool, that's, that's about where I want it to be. You can listen to some more. It gets kind of quiet. Okay, so the next step you want to do with your song after you created something that you like, like right here, this is alright for an experiment that's not too bad. So you're going to hold shift, cut what you want, I mean uh, highlight what you want, and then you want to, this is uh, your options to actually make the song in the mp3. You can export everything here, it will, uh, that means it'll export from the very first, uh, I guess the very first second, millisecond, this uh, section starts to the very end right here. Section is what you sectioned off with the highlight. Or selection, my bad. So we're just going to call it, you know, capital, smash it on the keyboard. And you can name all your track information here. And here we go. Now we just made ourselves a new song. So where's goodbye, A-F-D-S-A-D, -A -A blah, blah, blah. Now we're just going to close these files. A great thing about Audacity, the reason why this program is so cool, is because when you put a track in here, anything in here, this is separate from the track. So if you try to replace your track, yeah, that's not going to that's not going to work if you're playing it or you have it open somewhere. But if you're just trying to edit something like I am, say I have, you know, I've been listening to the song over here, so it's not going to affect that. You're moving something in here and then you do what you want here until you make the save or export option. Then you could replace your original file, but everything you do in here is perfectly fine. So I'm going to show you guys a few more things, some awesome things you can do with the your song. So my personal favorite is going over here and lowering the speed. So you, we already heard what it sounds like. So this is actually a preview option. This button right here is what is your track. So we're going to play this just for a few seconds. All right. Now we're going to listen to it when it's uh, at the speed of uh, 0.8, which is also 20% slower. I think that sounds awesome. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Now you can also make the song faster. I don't know. Whatever you're into. My argument for this sort of thing is I have a playlist here, right? I have the same song on here three times. So I like a song, I want to hear it more often in my playlist, so I want more copies. But instead of having the exact same song, they're slightly different. Now there's a lot of great things you can do in here. Another way you can uh, copy and paste is actually by zooming into the very nitty gritty in here. And then just deleting empty spaces, going in here and delete, delete, delete. Until you make it perfect. But another option you can do is in this effect area called truncate silence and pretty much the defaults pretty good but you can lower these it'll, it'll tell you what the lowest um, the lowest number you can have it as and then give it a shot uh, it automates it I guess you can say and there's a lot of things here that I haven't really done in terms of uh, practical stuff the bass and treble is actually really good you can, any sort of old songs in particular, you can really bump them up. If you have a song and you want to increase the volume, when you go to envelop right here, and you don't put a marker down at first, like I showed you before, you can actually grab it. And then this is changing the volume of the entire track. Audacity is a brilliant system. You can go up here, change the volume here. It's going to be way too loud. And then you can also change the volume here. So another great thing, you can also undo your changes like in uh, Microsoft Word. All that functionality is the same. So Control Z to undo, Control Y to redo, and so on. So 
we have the whole track highlighted. If not, you can just go in here. We're going to be changing the speed. And we're going to change it by 10. So it's going to elongate the entire track. Pretty cool. And now, since I already exported this selection and then I haven't changed the actual selection, we can just do export. And now we're going to replace the file that we made before the AFD, whatever. So right here it's saying that uh, I want to overwrite it, hell yeah. Sometimes it may ask you to verify your uh, file name, so it may want, I mean, most of the time I assume people want a MP3, so you just uh, actually type out .mp3. So I'm going to change the name to uh, video here, so we know this is for the video. And I'm just going to pop it into my music player, and we're going to listen to it. And then that's going to be it. So hopefully you guys learned something, learned about this software. It's a free software. Audacity is free. You can do so much to a single song. I just recently dis rediscovered this awesome song by Cell Dweller, so I wanted to just show something off that demonstrates how easy it is to modify something that exists. At the same time, you can also do some really cool, unique things to make it kind of something like your own creation. And we're going to play the video out to the song that we made. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and learned something. Peace.